So, so as uh, President Hollande is coming to India uh, very shortly on his uh, first visit after his election, what do you think are the main issues that should be on the table as far as India is concerned in the IT sphere? Well, first I think uh, the, uh, there is much more to do between Indian, India and Indo-French trade. I think it's increasing, but there is enormous scope that's available. Indian market is changing very rapidly, and I think there is a lot of scope for French companies to uh, offer their uh, products and services in India across IT and across everything else. So I don't think we should be happy with uh, the percentages and the growth we have seen. I think the scope is even more. I do hope that uh, both France and Italy, India would work uh, uh, hard to ensure that the free trade agreement is signed because I think that will open up uh, uh, business opportunities for both our countries and we uh, do look forward to that happening. Uh, as far as the uh, Indian IT industry is concerned, uh, I think we uh, do understand that there are still uncertainties in, in Europe. Uh, the business has been uh, uh, sluggish and people are conservative in terms of their expenditures. However, in spite of all that, we have seen the business grow for us in Europe. And I think that's a good sign because it just shows that people are now willing to make changes. Uh, they have been very conservative in the past. They have, uh, 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 you know, not been leveraging outsourcing as much as their counterparts in US have done, which would mean that they are not competitive. So I think competitive pressures in Europe, including France, should lead to changes happening. Though I would say uh, that uh, France has been a probably a little slower than it should have been. When we look at the IT sector, uh, we, we should classify both the customers and the service providers into two categories. So first there are large uh, customers and there are middle, uh, what we call small and medium sized customers. Uh, the large customers are typically serviced by large IT companies because they're global in nature and they have a presence all across the world and they tend to be using the larger French companies uh, uh, well uh, uh, and then there are the small companies who are typically serviced by smaller companies uh, within the region. Now while Indian uh, IT companies have established their base in, uh, in France, uh, uh, what we've seen is they have front ends that are there. Uh, the business has been slow and I think it again reflects uh, that France has been slow to adopt. Mm -hmm. But the question is with the French market itself having uh, been a little sluggish, for French companies the markets are global markets and for them it's not about competitiveness within France but competitiveness globally. Mm -hmm. And if that has to be done then they need IT and business process management to be transformed so that they remain competitive. So uh, we do hope that the, the French companies would take that step, uh, uh, whether they uh, come through Indian companies or, or they're going through their current uh, service providers. Now, if I look at the French-based service companies, uh, you know, very large ones, I think they have gone tremendously in India. Mm -hmm. But large, large part of their growth has come in for servicing their customers in the rest of Europe and, uh, and US. Uh, the French part of their work is still very small. So, you know, I think this is the time for us to do it. Uh, mm -hmm. If I look at what's happening across the world, uh, in spite of the downturn today, the CIOs and the companies are investing in uh, social media, integrating mobile, uh, using analytics for decision making, and embracing cloud. Now, this would mean that they need the latest technology. Mm -hmm. They need uh, people to come and change things. So, uh, you know, to me, it's about French companies realizing that it is their competitiveness issue. It's not about outsourcing, offshoring, or anything of that kind. It's about who can do the job for them. Okay. Uh, we also hope uh, that the small and medium service providers in, uh, in France, they have a unique problem because they don't have the resources, the latest technology is not available, SMBs are threatened by themselves because they are also under pressure to be very cost effective. So what needs to be done is uh, these small and medium IT service providers need to tie up with Indian companies, yep. whichever form, mm -hmm. whether it's a joint venture, whether they acquire each other, 
but they need a back end front end. Indian small medium service providers don't have a front end in France. They can never uh, think of putting one. And similarly, uh, the French uh, SMEs will find it uh, very difficult to create a back end of their own. Mm -hmm. So I think this gives an opportunity of a very unique uh, uh, partnership which is possible. Uh, later in uh, April, uh, early April, mm -hmm. we are we are having a session in in Delhi mm -hmm. where we expect these companies to come in. We'll get our service providers to also come in. It's not so much a customer meet, but much more a meet of IT service providers to say what new models have to come in. Okay. Uh, you know, from an Indian perspective, uh, clearly the penetration rates in France are low mm -hmm. and uh, we think the market is very sophisticated. We can meet their needs and uh, the only way it has to be done if there's a change uh, that happens now. Uh, as I mentioned, we have seen the changes already happening in Europe mm -hmm. and I see no doubt why French would not change either. It's a mindset change that's required. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't think it's an issue about unions and jobs because uh, today there is a shortage across the world of the kind of skills that you need mm -hmm. to adopt modern technologies. So it's not about uh, you know one or the other. So it's not a zero sum game. Yeah. Uh, it's about uh, uh, reskilling the people who are there currently to do what jobs they can but also leverage talent that's available anywhere else uh, to do that. As you've seen, uh, in spite of uh, uh, a low uh, economic situation, uh, poor economic situation across the world, uh, Indian IT industry still grew 11-12%. Larger companies have done even better. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it should not be a situation of missed opportunities for both these countries. Okay. Do you think the creation of an IT working group will help in in this domain? Well, you know, uh, uh, all these groups uh, help uh, because it uh, uh, they bring issues out. Uh, we think currently uh, from Indian side, we have two big issues that we face. Uh, one relates to uh, mobility. Yeah. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, just like French products will move to India, I think fungibility of resources across the globe is required. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one issue. The other is uh, we should not do anything which increases the cost uh, of delivery and today uh, social security taxes that we have to pay in France without really getting benefit. Mm -hmm. If they were getting benefit then it's not a cost increase. Yeah. But we don't get that benefit and hence just like other European countries have been able to effectively use the uh, social security agreement that we have with EU True. but the French have uh, found a unique way to not implement it in mm -hmm. its spirit and letter mm -hmm. and we hope uh, that would happen. So. Uh, you know, the working group of uh, IT, etc., helps in bringing up those issues as well. Okay. Uh, there are other areas of collaboration globally when we talk about standards, when we talk about cyber security, mm -hmm. those are areas also that the uh, Indo uh, French uh, IT working group would bring. Okay. Uh, how do you see 2013 for Indian IT across the world and especially in Europe? Well, you know, we are still to work out our numbers, uh, uh, but I think we've been very encouraged with the results that we've seen of the previous quarter, which mm -hmm. was otherwise a, a low quarter for traditionally for Indian IT industry, which shows uh, the demand side being positive. Mm -hmm. Surely business continues to be uh, tough, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but, uh, you know, we would release our estimates uh, in early February uh, or mid-February, mm -hmm. right, which would be more... Uh, worked out, but uh, more uh, specific. Uh, but I think uh, Europe, uh, uh, given the changes and given the need, right, even though economic uncertainty will remain, will continue to be providing growth for us. Okay. And do you think uh, the Indian companies could also perhaps be a bit more aggressive in the European markets, notably in France, by going through the acquisition route? We have seen a couple of big acquisitions happen. Well, you know, our acquisitions happen for two reasons. Uh, uh, we don't need uh, to acquire for customers, customers that, uh, you know, we do get customers when we do an acquisition. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, now the nature of work is where we need domain expertise and we also need contextual information, mm -hmm. right? So uh, you cannot acquire them so easily on your own. 
right? You can't build domain expertise or contextual information. It takes a long time. Yeah. So I think for those two reasons, Indian companies are looking for, these will be small acquisitions rather than any large, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we need to absorb them and retain those people. And it's a win-win situation for those who acquire, because there's their possibility of survival and growth becomes more. Mm -hmm. And in any of these acquisitions, we should uh, never have a fear of losing people because those are the reasons that we are actually doing the acquisition, okay. right? So we are doing it because there are resources there. Okay. And uh, finally, uh, what what would you like uh, to... Do you, do you think these acquisitions also bring adequate value addition to the work that Indianity is doing? Are you yeah, happy with the value because, addition you know, jobs that we're doing here in India currently? See, the, the question is, uh, you know, one is about support and maintenance and so on. But today, mm -hmm. business leaders are getting involved, right? So it's business which is deciding what IT should do, right? It's not necessarily only the CIO who's deciding it. Mm -hmm. So if you need to be working with the business, then you need domain expertise, okay. right? And that is the reason that you need these acquisitions for. So you need it for engaging with the business people, understanding how to do, which is the contextual part, how do you do business in France, and how do you do banking business in France is the domain plus the contextual information that you need. Okay. And anything that the French would seek from India in terms of IT, which way we can deliver? Well, something? you know, we have such a big market, uh, uh, we can do two things. Mm -hmm. I think the French companies who have solutions that are suitable for us. They can tie up with Indian companies and offer those solutions here. And B, they can also offer those solutions which can be embedded uh, in global uh, solutions that we offer. So I think they have to come out more aggressively, mm -hmm. right?